What's going on YouTube? Today I am going to show you how to put Cody on your Fire Stick. Not only just put Cody on your Fire Stick, but how to access it just by um, double clicking the home button. Check that out. All right, now the first thing you need to do is to scroll all the way down to settings. All right, go over to system, go down to developer options, and make sure these two options are on. ADB debugging and apps from unknown source. Make sure those two are on. Go back, scroll up, go to about, go to network, and you're going to need to copy down your IP address. You need this for the uh, software that we need to run. All right, whenever you got that, head over to a computer that's on the same network as your Fire Stick. YouTube, here we are at the computer. We got three things we need to download to make this process work. Uh, all three links are in the description box. Just on the video at the bottom, it says show more. Just click show more and all, all three links should be in the description. All right, first up, we got Cody. All right, here's the page for Cody. You're gonna go all the way down to the right over here. It says Android uh, or APK install. This is what you want. You want the one that says ARM. So we're gonna click that. Boom, down here you can see it automatically starts download. All right, next. Next is the ADBFM 131.dmg. Uh, don't be fooled by this right here. This is just an advertisement whenever you come up to these uh, pages. So don't click that, that's not what you want. You want this right here. Start downloading, begin download. All right, say so standing by. All right, and then just whichever one of these, I don't really think it matters. All right, and then that's gonna start downloading. All right, and finally, the third link is gonna be your fire, fire starter. All right, for this, you're gonna come halfway down. It's gonna say download latest fire starter APK. Boom, download that one. All right, and it's gonna, we're just gonna bring you to this page and from here, you use your fire starter. You're going to see the size over here. Download that one. All right, and then once all those are finished downloading, we're ready for the next step. All right, now as you can see, we got all three loaded down here on the bottom. All right, the first one you're going to want to open up is the ADBFM131. All right, now for these other two, you're going to want to know where they got saved to. So if, if they went to some random place and you don't know where they are, drag and drop them to a place where you can find them uh, in the browser. All right, so we got a uh, ADB Fire. Um, we're just going to drag and drop it into our applications. All right, and it went. And if you're on a Mac and you've never installed this application before or you have your security settings set up to where it doesn't allow... Uh, third-party apps it's going to come up with a message and it's going to tell you that it's not going to install because of your security settings I can't remember the exact verbiage but anyways you can just go over here click the Apple button go to system preferences and then right here it'll be um, a button that says allow or whatever and then so you just click that and it'll let uh, that download go through all right so now it has downloaded you're going to go in, you're going to open it up. All right, and then you're going to say open. All right, here we are at ADB Fire. Um, it's pretty generic. Only thing you want to do here, you just want to hit new. All right. All right, now you want to type in the description. You can name it whatever you want. I'll just call mine. Fire stick, and then the address is the address that was on your fire stick. That's what you want to type in right here. I believe mine was 10.0.1.5, and hit save. And that's it. All right, it's going to say, it's going to, or it's just going to show it connected right here. And so now all you want to do is you want to go install APK, and browser window is going to pop up. Now you just go. To where your 
uh, downloads were at. Right, so here's the Firestarter APK and the Kodi APK. So we're going to do the Kodi APK. Hit yes. All right, when it's finished, just hit OK. Next, we're going to install the other APK, Firestarter. Just hit Install APK again, find Firestarter, and hit Open. This one is usually pretty quick, so we'll just go ahead and wait on it. All right, and install. And that's it for the computer portion. Okay, here we are back at the TV. We got the Fire Stick home screen loaded up. Well, we're almost done. We're gonna scroll down to settings, go over to applications, go down to manage installed applications, Right now, you should see the two apps that we installed, Firestarter and Kodi. Go ahead and open up Kodi. Launch application. It's gonna look a little weird the first time it opens up. All right, there it is. Kodi is installed. All right, go ahead and press down, down. The little power button down the bottom left hand corner and hit exit all right now we're going to open up firestarter launch application go down to settings all right now you're going to go all, all the way down to home button single click application I don't know if you can see that. Home button, single click application. All right, now what this does is it sets up, uh, if you press the home button one time, you know, it tells Fire Stick, the Fire Stick, what you want to open. I want mine to be the regular default Fire Stick uh, settings. So I just left it as that. And then the double click home button, I'm gonna go ahead and make that Cody. When I double click the home button, I want Cody to open up, all right. All right, so that's set up. Now let's press the home button one time. There we go. Fire stick home screen. All right, now twice. And there's Cody. So everything worked out. All right, YouTube, well, that's it. Cody's on the fire stick. As you can see, we got it running right here. Those of you that are new to Cody might be wondering, you know, where are all the movies and TV shows and stuff like that? Um, but those of you that know Cody know that this application is a game changer. You can pretty much, you know, cancel your satellite and cable, um, all just based off of this program uh, and its capabilities. Uh, I'm going to be coming out with a few videos on how to get content on here, uh, whether it be streaming or adding your own library, or even if you have your own HTPC like I got down here. Uh, matter of fact, my next video is probably going to be how to share content from uh, your existing HTPC um, to any of your other Kodi libraries. So stay tuned for that. Like the video if it helped you out. And uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to know more about this program. All right, thanks. Peace.